I'm going to show you this really cool AI drawing tool that will make you an amazing fine art artist. Now I will first preface this with I can't even draw a symmetrical stick figure and I've used tools like Google's auto draw to do clip art and things but Scribble Diffusion allows you to create some images that are more like paint paintings or photos. They're really, really cool. And it uses some AI to kind of pull all that together. So it's real simple. If you head to scribblediffusion.com, you'll be greeted with this picture. And they have one that already started, and they drew a cat in here, and they put photo of cat. But I'm going to go ahead and clear that. So if I go down to this little clear button, delete everything out, I'm going to delete this text out. And I'm going to draw something. So I'm going to say I want a house, let's just say. So I'm going to put a house right here. And I'm going to put a tree in the side yard. So here's my wonderful drawing. That's as good as it gets. So I do a quick little sketch up in this top box. And down at the bottom, I type in descriptors of what I want to see. So I'm going to say there's a house and a tree. OK, that's Basically, trust me, that's what my drawing is. It may not look like it, but that's what it is. All I have to do is click the Go button down here. It'll scroll up. It runs. It takes what you drew and the text, and now it's going to create an image. So it created this picture of a house and a tree. Now, maybe I'm like, yeah, it's not quite what I was thinking. I really wanted it a little bit different. It's as easy as going up a little bit and hitting the Go button again and it's going to regenerate another image from my sketch and the text. So here was the first one. Here's the second one. And you can do this as many times as you want. Every time you're going to come up with something a little bit different. And what's really cool, if you look at these, these are like original pieces of work because I put my tree here and you can see it's very similar, very similar. And here's the third one. So let's say I really like this picture, but I'm like, oh, I'm writing this story and I really need to include in the front yard um, the person's car. So I can go back to my drawing. Now, if I like this one, great, but maybe I want to edit it a little bit. I'm going to put a car right here. So let's just see what happens. I'm going to put some tires and I'm going to go. Okay. Hey, it kind of looks like a car. I didn't do too badly. Okay. So now I'm going to go back down to my description and it says a house and a tree and a car. Let's see what happens. I'm going to hit the go button. And every time I do this, it's different. So I couldn't even tell you what it's going to give me because I haven't seen the same picture twice. Everything is different. So that's quite interesting. I seem to have a tree in my car. So I'm like, oh, I really like it except for that tree there. So I could go up and hit go again. Give it a second. It does its magic. That's better. That's what I'm looking for. So let's say this is the picture I like. Now keep in mind, I can continue doing this until I get the picture I want. I really want this. This is for my story or my project or whatever it is. I want to use this. All I have to do is go to the picture, the image I like, right click on it, go to save image as. I can name it anything I want. I'll name this um, house tree car. And then I can go ahead and save that. And now I've got this image that is AI created that I have made that obviously is copyright free because, well, that is my work. There we go. And I've got this image I can use. But same thing, maybe I want to do something a little different. Maybe I want to add in a bird. Oh boy. Here we're going to put. Let's do an airplane. Maybe I can draw that a little bit better. Maybe not, though. And airplane. Let it do its magic. There you go. Maybe that's the picture I want. But what is really cool is these are exactly where I spaced them out, how I wanted things. This is how I chose my picture to be. Now, like once again, I can continue clicking the Go button. But if I want to go start a new picture, I just go to the Clear, delete all the text out. And maybe this time I'm just going to draw a beach with the sun 
in some waves <laughs> and an umbrella. I could say beach, sun, umbrella, and I'll put waves in. Let's just see what happens. I've never done this. It's kind of a mystery for all of us. Let's see what I get. There you go. <laughs> Not quite as good, but basically you can see it puts the umbrella where I put it. That didn't register as a sun, but maybe if I did it and put some star, you know, like the typical sun things. What if I put a smiley on it? Now I'm really curious what would happen. <laughs> well, anyhow, you could fine tune this and make it however you want. That is not exactly what I was looking for, but it did give me waves. It gave me my umbrella, a beach, and apparently it doesn't like my son. But anyhow, um, so it's a really cool tool. Give it an explore. See what your kiddos and you can create um, and enjoy it. But like I said, every time you hit the go button, you're going to get something different. So it's a great way to have some creativity for some of us that need a little help with our art.